in here. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Chuck. Happy birthday to you. At some point, they become illegible, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can light them at home later there and make them melt illegible. I'm go. just, I'm going to cut cake. Another <laughs> cake. So, Chuck, now that you're 62, can you tell us what your favorite 1962 okay. car is? 1962 car? Yeah. Be careful there. 62. <laughs> Ooh. Is that a 62? No. No, that's a 60. No, gosh darn, 62. It's kind of an odd Well, I. I got two of them. What they are. T-Bird? Yeah. No, I, see, I'm, I'm I think it's kind of esoteric. A Chevrolet. They 62 Chevrolet. I'm esoteric. More Chrysler. No, actually, I'm thinking like a DKW 1000. <laughs> SP? That's pretty esoteric. And it's, uh, this is a three cylinder, two stroke engine. Lordy. It's just a uh, just a freaky car, and uh, and they're advertising when they were selling them. Actually, I think they were sold as auto unions or Audis uh, in the United States in that time frame. They um, the advertising said three equals six because the engine being a two stroke, even though it's three cylinders, it has the smoothness of a six. You know, it does make ring ding ding noises, but you know, it's still a smooth engine. Is this an American car? No, no, German, no. German, German. No, oh, German. It's what well, Audi is. Yeah. Auto Union was Audi. Born and raised in Detroit, yeah. Motor City, USA, and you pick a phone car. I've had a Ukrainian <laughs> motorcycle. Chuck likes the obscure. <laughs> I'm sure really? we've. Wow. You know, and it's just it's. <laughs> when you look at that time frame, if it was a, the domestic automakers, I. 62? Nothing really stands out, actually. But well, I look at it, see, I look at things from an engineering perspective, so I'm looking at it from what's, you know, what's really interesting when you peel the metal back and what's there. You know, we were just having this conversation about the Fraser Manhattan because it shares parts with the combine. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a beautiful car, but it shares parts with the combine. Um, so when I peel that back, I want to look at, I'm looking at engineering. And in mm -hmm. 1962, I think the, you'd have to be right there with the Corvair. Mm -hmm. The Corvair? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I was, I don't know. Was that 60, the first year? They debuted? No, 60, no. 60, 60, 60. 60 was when they first debuted, and I think 63 60. was the year they turbocharged them. Is that right? I think so. Yeah. What year did Ralph write the book? He wrote that around 64 or 65, at which point the Camaro was already in the works, so they pretty much killed off the Corvair internally. Uh, it's just one of those things that Mr. Nader was well, able to say. You needed more rear-end deaths. So Pardon? Wait till 65. <laughs> you didn't need more rear-end deaths. Yeah. Well, they, 65 was the year that they changed the rear suspension because it was a swing axle like a Porsche. You know, it's like, so you're telling me the Germans figured out how to make a rear engine swing axle sports car and we can't? We actually went and studied, maybe this is why, I found uh, a book in Detroit, Maine library that was, um, it, it was a book on air-cooled engine theory by Hans Ledwinka. And Hans was the, the father of the Volkswagen. He actually predated Ferdinand Porsche. They were using his designs, which were Tatra designs. They were using that to make the rear engine air cooled car configurations of the 1930s. And holy cheese. Holy cheese. What's this with the most? <laughs> so, anyway. I know. Thank you. Thank you. This is really cool. Ooh, there's snickers.
Ooh. Yeah, they're Snickers. So, you know, the Czechs <coughs> had a rear engine air cooled V8 engine at the onset of World War II. You know, big time advanced stuff. Yeah. Uh, and so when it came time to build the Corvair, the book that I found in the library in Detroit was actually stamped. Um, I don't know if it was, I think it was General Motors Engineering Department. The book came from their files. Mm -hmm. So they were studying Hans Ledwinka to figure out how to build a Corvair. Uh, and it's got that, and, and Tatras are wonderful cars. That's what you said 62, you kind of, I could have called the Tatra, but it's actually earlier than that, Tatra 602. But anyway, I'm sorry, I digress.